Hello and welcome to cake. Today we're making this beauty right here. What's beautiful about this cake is that it's made of completely vegan ingredients. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy eating or making cake or creating DIY projects, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video for support. Now let's start with the vegan vanilla sponge cake layers. I uploaded a pretty detailed video to the sponge cake layers a couple days ago, but I'm going to repeat the process at a high level just one more time. To one cup of almond milk, I add two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, stir this and set it aside for five minutes until it becomes bubbly and foamy. After this step, I add a third of a cup of vegetable oil and some vanilla extract. As far as dry ingredients, I'm using one and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and a dash of salt. I simply combine all the dry ingredients and then add the wet ingredients to this. My oven at this point is preheated to 350 Fahrenheit or about 180 degrees Celsius and I've prepared two aluminum cake pans which I've lined with parchment paper but have not greased on the side. The vanilla sponge cakes are going to bake for 30 minutes and are going to come out looking like this. Perfect. I'm going to allow them to cool before I add any kind of filling. Now to the exciting part which is the vegan meringue. To make the vegan meringue I combine half a cup of sugar with a quarter cup of water, heat it up until it reaches a temperature of 240 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to need a sugar thermometer to measure this. Then in my stand mixer I'm going to beat about 60 milliliters of aquafaba which is chickpea water. I'm going to beat the aquafaba for about 10 minutes until it becomes firm and then add the sugar syrup, which has now reached the temperature of 240 degrees, into this. I'm going to let the stand mixer do its job for a couple more minutes until it cools down, and in the meantime, I'm preparing the strawberries for the middle and top layers. My vegan Italian meringue is now ready and there is no way that you could tell that this does not have egg white. I can't tell. The consistency is perfect. Now to give the Italian meringue a little bit more flavor, I've added about one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and about one teaspoon of natural vanilla flavor. This is perfect because it's going to complement the strawberry filling perfectly. All that's left to do now is to put everything together. So I've placed one of the sponge cake layers on my cake stand. I'm distributing a couple tablespoons of my vegan Italian meringue on top of this and then filling and decorating the cake with some fresh sliced strawberries, placing the next sponge cake layer on top, distributing a couple more tablespoons of the Italian meringue and then decorating it with some strawberries. Now, if you want to prepare any part of this ahead of time for a party or something, I would recommend to make the sponge cake layers ahead of time, but not the vegan Italian meringue, just because it is going to change in consistency if it stays in the fridge or at room temperature for too long. This is what my cake looks like now. I decided it just needs a little bit more color, um, and so I decided to add some blueberries to this. If you enjoyed this recipe, let me know by commenting below and don't forget to subscribe for more delicious recipes and creative ideas. Thank you for watching and see you next time.